join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. So we're in Dublin today and about to walk down one of its most famous streets, Grafton Street. We're just starting beneath St Stephen's Green in South Dublin, which you can see in a separate Naked Ireland video. And we'll walk down as far as the junction of Suffolk Street and Nassau Street, just across the road from the Trinity College campus, where the pedestrian area ends. The first thing that might surprise you is it's not massively busy. So I should say that it's only 9am in the morning and it's raining too, as you can see. So you'll have to imagine this place on a bustling Saturday afternoon. In fact, Grafton Street is one of the most important shopping streets in the city. In 2008, which wasn't that long ago, the street was designated the fifth most expensive main shopping street in the world. Rents at that time were 5,621 euros per square meter per year. That's a lot of money if you own a store the size of Brown Thomas, which you'll see a little later on. It's perhaps not surprising then that some of the big brand shops are installed here. Again, there are lots of parked up vans here at the moment, probably as it's early in the morning and all the shops are receiving their deliveries. And as you can see, some shops still have their shutters down. The city's still waking up. You'll notice the Levi store here on the right and the Hugo Boss retailer is just opposite. The street was first pedestrianised in 1971 but wasn't made the permanent pedestrian zone we see today until 1982. As we approach Harry Street, we see the Westbury Hotel at the end of the street. And if you look carefully on the left hand side, you can see the famous pub McDade's, a hangout for literary figures such as Brendan Bean. We visit this pub in a later Naked Ireland video, so watch out for that. In the other direction, we see St Anne's Church at the bottom of the street and some equally fancy shops en route to that. It's amazing to think that with all these high-end shops that Grafton Street wasn't always like this. In the 19th century this area was renowned for its prostitution. In the 1870s 1,500 prostitutes were reputed to work in the street. Now we're just arriving at a Dublin institution, Bewley's Oriental Cafe on the left. This place opened in 1927 and has always been a popular and stylish place to meet. It underwent a 1 million redevelopment in 2015 and I think you'll agree that it looks all the better for it. As we continue our walk past the livery vans, we can see the narrow laneway leading to Powers Court shopping area another place to engage in some high-end retail therapy. But it's not all shops. The street is renowned as well for its buskers and late in the afternoon, come rain or shine, this place will be full of musicians doing their thing. And of course at the end of Duke Street here, we have the flower stalls. The stock's getting well watered today by the looks of things too. Just on the other side of Grafton Street now we see another of the street's important retailers, the department store Brown Thomas. This is one of five stores in Ireland, the others being in Cork, Limerick, Galway and Dundrum. The first store was opened on Grafton Street in 1848. Nowadays it's considered an upmarket retail outlet, with the premises here housing outlets for Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Celine, Gucci, Armani, Prada. 
Burberry, Michael Kors and a host of others that fashion conscious people will recognise. Very smart looking doormen here as well. And of course, like all department stores, Brown Thomas prides itself on its beautiful window displays. Just a bit further on, we have this amazing shop front located on the corner of Wicklow Street. This is Weir and Sons, established in 1869 and still selling high-end watches and jewellery. We're coming up to the end of the pedestrianised section of the street soon. Just as the street intersects with Suffolk Street on the left and Nassau Street on the right, we emerge back into the Dublin traffic. The famous statue of Molly Malone with her wheelbarrow nicknamed the tart with the cart, used to be sited at this intersection, but was moved into Suffolk Street to help facilitate the Lewis trams when they were routed through this part of town more recently. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk. Please give it a like if that's so, and it would be great if you would subscribe. That'll encourage more Naked Ireland videos in the future. Thanks for watching. And there's the Lewis tram on its way down towards Dame Street.